Good afternoon YouTube, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to build a phone holder so that I can mount my phone to a tripod but instead of going to the dollar store and picking one up we're going to do it the Lund DIY build way and we're going to see if we can make it cost about 20 bucks. Stick around. You see this tripod mount here? We're going to make a plate, we're going to cut it out, I'm going to put a little riser on it, it's going to have a little shelf that way a phone can clip to it and I could use a phone on it if I needed to. I've got different cameras that I use. You can see I've even drilled a hole in this one for a different mounting apparatus for a, uh, for a GoPro. Alright guys, so be ready to have your mind blown because this thing is awesome. One thing for me, I'm kind of a neat freak and I'm not a big fan of like dust. So whenever you're grinding in the workshop, it just creates a ton of dust, especially cutting. Uh, when you start cutting with these like uh, regular zip disc or cutoff discs, well, check this out. This project today that we're going to do, I'm going to use this uh, new disc and I want to show it to you to see how awesome this is. You guys, I think you're going to be impressed. I love it. They say it'll do a thousand cuts. I'm not sure if they will or they won't, but we'll find out. Uh, it says it lasts 30 times longer than a wheel. This is a, uh, and this is a four and a half inch disc. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can do with this. These are, I don't know, around 10, 12, 14 bucks. Alright, so let's start out and we'll just take some measurements here real quick. I just got this uh, slide rule here. Alright, is that. What we'll, uh, we'll do is we'll transfer the, the, those measurements onto this 8th inch plate. So all I'm doing here is just uh, putting on the new wheel and I will say that this cuts very, very similar to a regular abrasive cutoff wheel. I think it cuts just as fast. The one thing that I really like is that you don't get that smell in the air and all those particle fibers from the abrasive disc. And look at that guys, it barely even took the paint off it. I'll be curious to see just how well this holds up and how long it lasts, but I look at it as even if we only got maybe 500 cuts out of the thousand, it's still a really cheap investment all in all and the disc remains the same size all the time and you don't have the dust and all the mess that makes it really super nice so here I'm just TIG welding everything together and if you guys are looking for an affordable TIG welder and a stick welder I'll leave a link for this up above this is a $209 welder I am super impressed with it had great luck so far it's a good entry-level welder if you're looking to start out now this piece here was just an afterthought. I'm drilling it and tapping it so I can put it on my little uh, flexible base that I have there. And now I'm just trying it on the different pieces. You can see how I clip the phone to it. This really isn't for video. It's more so when I take pictures and short videos and I upload them to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So what did you guys think of that? No dust. The diameter and circumference remains the same. If we can get as many cuts out of it as advertised, that'd be awesome. Even at half that, it would be awesome. So if you guys want to find out more about that diamond-tipped blade, I'll leave a link for it down below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good day. See ya. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Come, come.